100 pairs of raw denim jeans, a fashion revolution, and a visionary obsessed with standing out from the crowd. This is the story of Acne Studios. Acne Studios' brand new Elizabeth Street store, Melbourne, has recently opened to the public. So I thought I'd give a quick history of the brand before consumers set foot in the new visual masterpiece. Acne Studios started out in Stockholm, Sweden in 1996 as a subsidiary of a creative company launched by the now legendary designer, Johnny Johansson. The rather unusual brand name, Acne, spawned from the acronym Ambition to Create Novel Expressions. Johansson once said of the name, the idea of appropriating a difficult word is making it sound cool. And cool is a word synonymous with Acne Studios. At its inception, Johansson was only 26 years old. He grew up idolizing style icons like James Dean and Elvis Presley, along with his father, who he said maintained a very intentional yet unique sense of personal style. When Johansson was a child, he sometimes felt embarrassed of his dad's eccentricity and how he didn't fit in. But as he grew older, he had a kind of profound realization that not fitting in actually made his dad unique. He became convinced that there's no best way of dressing and that clothes should be an extension of the self and a reflection of your individual way. He sees fashion as a creative expression rather than a celebrity circus. Johansson injected just 10,000 euros into the company at its foundation as they specialized in activities ranging from fashion magazines, furniture, books, and exhibitions. The aim of Acne at this time was to push the creative envelope across many fields and be a cultural beacon for the youth of Sweden. After setting up the company, Johansson launched the fashion sector of the brand by creating 100 pairs of raw denim jeans that he gave away to friends and family to test the waters. Wallpaper and Vogue Paris quickly picked up on the popularity of the jeans and Acne Studios would use them as the impetus to rapidly expand the fashion company. Aesthetically, Acne can be quite difficult to place, owed to a unique combination of minimalistic, timeless and outgoing. Johansson gives a, a touch of eccentric and essential in any one collection or garment and it's clear he doesn't go for the ease aesthetic. It's this contrast that makes the brand really stand out from the rest. Contextually, it's important to understand that before Acne, Sweden lacked any distinct fashion identity. Johansson lent on Scandinavia's reputation for design and relatively outlier status in the industry. His unique understanding of youth culture and sensibility spurred on Scandinavian style revolution that lives on until this day. Unlike other fashion brands up and coming at the time, Acne Studios did it their own way. Reframing from advertising in typical publications and instead launched their own magazine, Acne Paper. When visiting at least two Acne Studios stores, you'll soon learn that no two interiors are the same. Every store is conceptual and many look like a gallery rather than a fashion boutique. The story of Acne Studios reads a little like an entrepreneurial masterclass. Johnny Johansson has built a brand in his own unique image that transcends style and has given Sweden an iconic place on the fashion map. 